I'm Shireen Azab. I'm a co-director of Theatre Company, a host of People in Detroit, Michigan. I'm Deborah Goff, a Hartford native and artistic director of Scapegoat Garden, and I'm about to be an assistant professor of dance at Hampshire College in Amherst, Mass. I was drawn to apply to ICPP because I was transitioning from New York to Detroit and uh, was interested in sort of figuring out uh, an inquiry into um, how to enter into a new community, both as an artist and somebody that was planning on holding um, and curating small events in that community. And so I had a lot of questions about how to be a newcomer in a place that is really um, specific and challenging. And so ICPP lent me the opportunity to have a great community of people and instructors to sort of use to, um, I would say, really pinpoint my thinking on it. I think we have some similar um, motivations, although mm -hmm. I wasn't new to a place. It was a place that I felt like I knew really well, um, but that I had a lot of questions about and questions about how I function as an artist there and also how I support my fellow performance um, makers in a place like that to be, um, to thrive, I guess. And I felt like the word curation kept coming up, mostly for me, but I didn't necessarily know what I meant by it. Um, and I actually stumbled upon the ICPP website right before the first class started. Um, and it felt like there were people having the conversation that I was having with myself. And um, I watched the first class um, from a distance, actually, because I'm from the area, right. um, passing through that first summer and felt like I really needed to apply and, um, and have a forum for that discussion. And I think what's interesting that you and I both have in common is that we both came at it as artist curators. Mm -hmm. And that, I think, was a, a specific question that I had of, like, what does it mean to also curate their artists and where does that perspective come in and where is it problematic mm -hmm. and how can we find ways to navigate those situations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And with this focus on place, geography. So what'd you get out of it? What I, I learned at, <laughs> at Curator's Camp? Um, I don't know. I guess I it, it definitely, I feel like it gave me some agency to claim the things that I was inclined to mm -hmm. investigate because I wasn't so sure before if I was onto something crazy because um, there wasn't a lot of validation for that conversation in the circles that I was in. Um, so I, I feel like I got some confidence to pursue it. I didn't feel like I was crazy. It was like, oh, there are other people having this conversation. Um, and while on some level that conversation could be had on the level of um, someone who works for a particular presenting organization, it felt like I found a way to make it relevant um, and not just make it relevant, but found it to be very relevant at the level that I was dealing with, and I had something to bring home and share that was important. Yeah. How about you? Well, just on a very practical level, I think it was a really great part of my process to go into the history of Detroit and to sort of create for myself where I thought the um, alternative or avant-garde uh, art scene in Detroit, like to investigate where my lineage might be in this, city um, and so that was really useful and then also just that I did actually succeed in, in finding what I think is an inquiry that is constantly changing with the way the city changes me and how I become I think much more responsive to um, neighborhood and making things local that also then can have a voice outside of that place.